It has been a year defined in those early months by hope and later setbacks. A year that stretched our patience with the virus, with the ever-evolving science, rules, and recommendations, and with each other. As most Americans celebrated the arrival of mass vaccinations at the start of the year, we were also confronted by what we maybe didn't know. We learned about breakthrough infections. The shots greatly slowed the pace of death and sickness, but had their limits. We got lessons in the Greek alphabet. Tonight, an explosive summer surge. The Delta variant is fueling the next wave. Omicron has become the most common coronavirus variant in the U.S. A memorable way to classify COVID's many variants and faces. This year, COVID became a proxy for distrust in our institutions. The notion that we were all in this together still rang true in at least a literal sense in 2021. But so did individual notions of what, if anything, should be required of all of us at times of great peril. COVID remains our common enemy. And now at year's end, joyous holiday reunions are shadowed by uncertainty. Omicron has alarmed us, but we are not helpless against it. Boosters offering what experts tell us is a strong line of defense from the variant. This is not 2020. Yes, we are tired, but maybe this is a moment to take a break from our weariness. To bang a pot or cheer from the windows like we did in those early days of the pandemic for the healthcare workers and scientists who were still engaged in the fight of their lives and the fight for our lives. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.